And that is just the start of a wildebeest river crossing about to get from bad to worse. Good day and welcome to my channel. If we have not met before, my name is Rickers. As an African tour guide and international tour director, I've been blessed to see some rather incredible things in my life. However, in this video I'm about to share with you, there is some very dramatic footage of a herd of wildebeest trying to cross the famous Mara River in the Masai Mara Game Reserve in Kenya and making some critical judgment errors and getting into serious trouble to the detriment of many of them. So join me as I walk you through this event that lasted no more than 20 minutes. And please click on the subscribe button below in order for me to share more videos with you. First, just a quick introduction to how most visitors will witness the migration and also where in Africa this migration occurs. Huge, huge numbers of animals fill up the savannah plains of Masamara and Serengeti. They gather in large herds and then, following instinct, they start to move. Whilst doing so, they still feed, run around, often seemingly without any cause. It is truly one of life's greatest spectacles to see these large herds. This is how the river crossings normally occur. Various sizes of herds gather at a river and when one starts to cross, the rest follow. Safety in numbers. Quite orderly and everyone makes it to the other side. Or even better, no shoving, pushing, single file, one after the other. Take it easy. Absolutely no hurry. This is Africa. They all just stroll across the river to continue feeding on the other side. Because as you know, the grass is always greener on the other side. And today, anyone can come and visit the sensational parks in Tanzania and Kenya. For many, it is the epitome of an African safari. Seeing parts of the migration when herds of 1.5 million wildebeest and over 500,000 zebra migrate between Serengeti in Tanzania and Masai Mara in Kenya is certainly an unforgettable experience. However, even when you don't see the migration, these two parks definitely deserve every bit of the international fame. We zoomed into the area where this incident occurred. The yellow line is the invisible border between Kenya's Masai Mara in the north and Tanzania's Serengeti in the south. At this point, two rivers join. The Sand River running from east to west and the Mara River coming from the north to the south. Once they meet, they will continue westwards to Lake Victoria. We were returning from a morning safari in the western part of the park and just crossed the bridge over the Mara River. As we looked towards the river, we saw a relatively large herd of wildebeest congregating at the river and we swung into the parking lot where one is allowed to get out in order to have a better look at the river. As we got out, this is the scene that met us. The wildebeest decided to cross the river and aim for the gap in the sandbank on the opposite side. However, they did not keep the speed of the river in mind, sweeping them from left to right and therefore missing their target completely. At this point, they were facing a vertical solid sandbank which was impossible to climb. They were now swept downstream and had no choice to return to the side they just came from. And the reason why they could not continue downstream to reach flatter ground to exit is this. A pot of hippos lying in a long line preventing them from coming down further. However, this was just the start of their nightmare. Because wildebeest are herd animals, like sheep. The one follows the other one in front without really thinking of the consequences of that action. And you're not going to believe this, guys. But these animals, as soon as they got out of the hippo and crocodile infested water, they jumped straight back in again to do the same pointless circle once more. Absolutely crazy. On top of this, their problems are just about to get worse. One hippo has had enough and decided to attack these intruders. As you may know, 
Hippos are vegetarians, so they will not kill something to eat. However, they are extremely territorial and will attack anything coming into their path. And when you come face to face with a hippo, this will be probably your last memory. Just look at those tusks, razor sharp and up to one foot long. These tusks will rip arteries like paper and leave the victim bleeding to death if not already crushed by these gigantic jaws. At this point, the wildebeest are starting to reassess the situation. However, many continue with this deadly game of circular swimming, whereas others have second thoughts and return the same way they went in. Sadly, some animals are so tired now that they get swept downstream into the line of waiting hippos. And this poor soul gets bitten not once, but twice before making it to the bank. At long last, some good news. Some of them found the gap on the opposite side, and others found the flatter ground where we were standing. During all this chaos of the crossing, animals got separated. Mothers were calling out for their missing calves, Calves made it to the other side, only to wonder where their mothers were. Once again, the worst was still to be witnessed. These bodies are not the backs of hippos, but drowned wildebeest. Within minutes, I counted a hundred floating carcasses. Many people think that crocodiles kill most wildebeest during these crossings, but the fact is, it is deadly crossings like these that cost many more lives. And slowly but surely, peace was returning to the Mara River yet again. Animals were getting out of the river, some so tired. They just stood there in the dangerous river. And eventually, collapsed. You know, it can be heartbreaking and disturbing to witness events like these. It's like a lion kill. I often say to my guests, many visitors want to see a lion kill only until they see a lion kill. We often hear it's the cycle of life, but one can't help to feel very sorry for the victim. This reminds me always that life's end is always brutal. It does not matter how it comes. From a human perspective, what does matter though is not to focus on the things we cannot change, like the inevitable death, but on the things that we can change, like life. We can ensure to protect these wildlife locations like Serengeti and Masai Mara for life. We can spread the word that Africa is an exceptional destination with friendly people, stunning scenery and unmatched wildlife. And you can enjoy all her splendor just by coming here and becoming part of a movement to protect our natural resources for generations to come, long after you and I have left. I will make another video in which I will explain how the whole migration works, where to go and stay, the best season to come, etc. in order for you to witness this extraordinary event. Over to you. What is your most unforgettable wildlife experience you had? Or which park would you still like to visit? Please leave your comments below and thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel in order to help me bring you plenty more travel videos. See you soon.